<laughs> Holy sh**. I don't know if you guys watched the intro to this video. I know a lot of people just put on the video and leave it on in the background, but please just go and look at the intro clip. How is this bundle allowed to be sold in the shop? This STG, you know, fireman bundle that's totally accurate from World War II is in the shop for $20. I bought it like a dumbass. Don't buy it. Don't do what I do. Don't be an idiot hypocrite like me. Don't buy it. And you shoot the gun inside of Vanguard, inside of multiplayer, inside of zombies. You can't see anything. There is just fire shooting out of the sides of the gun, which in theory is a pretty cool idea, I have to admit, and I love the way this gun looks, but I can't see shit. The SVT in this bundle, on the other hand, is actually pretty good. I like using that gun. But before we continue to talk about anything more, if you guys could take a moment of your time and just hit that red subscribe button, hit that like button, if you do so, like the content that is. If not, that other button works just as well. And let's continue. And something else, and this is a topic for another day. Why is it that when you ADS in these new CODs from Modern Warfare 2019 to present day, it takes four and a half minutes to ADS? Why? I don't understand. Anyway, guys, don't buy this. This bundle i just i just had to show you that clip i thought it was so fucking hilarious okay anyway i'm getting off topic here i'm getting off topic you, just, you guys are distracting me all right you guys are distracting me so yesterday and i'm sorry i didn't get to it sooner i've been really overworked and i was tired and i just took a day off kevin drew responded to a tweet from mr t lexify now i'm sure you're asking to yourself if you aren't part of the drama you didn't know what was going on what did mr t lexify say that would have prompted kevin drew to tweet why is there a twitter battle amongst the zombies community. Well, I'll tell you why. Mr. T Lexify made a tweet saying that there may be a chance that we will never see Call of Duty Zombies again in any COD title. And Kevin Drew posted a meme that was like, with the question marks and the guy like looking at him like WT. Yeah, you know what meme I'm talking about. I'll have it on screen if you don't. I am very glad that Kevin Drew responded. One, because I am tired of the zombies community being in the dark. We're always in the fucking dark. We never know what's going on, at least with Blundell and stuff. And I'm not trying to like live in 2015 here. I'm just saying at least he kind of like teased shit and let us know what to expect a little bit. I know he was very ambiguous and that was part of the fun. But like, we've been in the dark since Black Ops 4 about pretty much everything. And uh, I had a dream last night that we got a zombies roadmap for all of Vanguard. Yeah, that's never gonna happen. Anyway, I'm just glad that we're not in the dark because it just shows that Treyarch, in my opinion, is kind of acknowledging like, hey, listen, we get that you guys are pissed about Duran Feng. We get you f***ing hate it. But here's the thing. Zombies isn't going away. It's just in a slump. It's like when you get your f***ing tire popped on the side of the road and you're just screwed there waiting. And you're like, well, is AAA going to come? I don't have a spare tire in the back of my car. So where is it? Where's AAA? When are they going to come and save us? And we're waiting for Treyarch to come and save us. And while that is a topic for another video, I don't think Treyarch is ever going to save us. I think that's up to us. I still think it's good that Kevin Drew acknowledged something because we need to be be able to put out these conspiracy theories, these damaging conspiracy theories, like zombies is never going to come back. I don't think that's the case. I never have thought it was the case. I thought maybe that they might not make round based anymore, but zombies is never going to die. Not anytime soon. And to be quite honest, I think 2023 zombies is going to come back with a vengeance. I think that the success of Cold War zombies and the success of BO3 zombies has taught them something. It's taught them that the hardcore base is a fickle bastard and that the easy core base will eat up this new outbreak, perk limitless kind of bullshit, just that new Cold War route, the simplicity of the mode. And I think now that Treyarch is going to have basically the full three years to develop this game, they're not saving a studio right now. They're not coming to the rescue for Sledgehammer or coming to the rescue for Infinity Ward. They have their own time now. I think we're going to see 2023 come back with a bang in zombies mode with actual content. And I know what you're thinking. Well, don't get my hopes up, Alex. Well, I'm not entirely just because the mode is going to be coming back in full force doesn't mean any of the content is going to be what I want or what hardcore fans want or what these new core fans want. It's probably going to be catered towards the more Cold War-esque type fans. And that's OK. But I do think that they're going to come out with like two launch maps, great new systems, great fun, great Easter eggs, all that shit. I think it's going to come back. I really do. Right now, we're just on the side of the road with our tire popped, waiting for AAA Treyarch to come and save us. And tons of community members replied. Codename Pizza was there. Mr. Dalek, JD, Milo, 
tons of big guys, tons of little guys, tons of medium guys. So this definitely is a good thing that, you know, this kind of popped up. I just want to say that the fact that the community is so splintered, the fact that the community is in such shambles, it might suck now. It really does. It actually does suck. I don't know why I said it might. It does suck. I don't like whatever state we're in as a community. But from the ashes, we will rebuild something beautiful. So just give it time. Just give it time. COD needs to go through this shitty cycle. It needs to have gone through Infinity Ward's Modern Warfare 2019 revamp destruction of the COD franchise. I'm hoping that they go away from this engine eventually, stick to next-gen consoles and next-gen PC hardware, and put out a good, fast, arcadey, twitchy shooter like they did in the old days. Because right now, this realistic, slow ADS bullshit mixed with this cartoony anime bundle pack, I don't think anybody likes it. I really don't. You have pro players dropping off. People are not playing Vanguard Zombies at all. You have a couple people that are going for Dark Aether. But for the most part, Activision has soiled zombies. And Treyarch is taking a lot of the heat because they're the ones developing it, but they don't have a choice. They're, they're hired guns. So what are they supposed to do? But I think from the ashes, we will rebuild something great. So just give us some time, play Black Ops 4, play Cold War, play BO3 Customs, play Infinite Warfare. We're gonna be doing a series on that. I got the first video all lined up, all lined up. What the hell is going on? I got the first video all ready to go. I just got to record it. And we're going to come out the other side better than we have before. Because now we know what we want as a community. We know what we hate. We were on an uphill for such a long time. We really were. From BO1 to BO2 to BO3, it was just like banger map after banger map. And then Cold War came and something happened. Something weird happened. We got Outbreak. We had Onslaught. It was a slow year for content because Treyarch was coming in to, to be the savior yet again. And then here we are in Duranfang and we're just like, what the f is going on? It's absolutely abysmal. And I think, like I've said, this is the third time I've said it, from the ashes, we will build something beautiful. So give it time, people. I'm trying to be optimistic. I want to do good for once. It's Christmas. Let's be hopeful. And let's try to see this through. Give Treyarch the benefit of the doubt. We know they can create a great mode. Cold War was great, despite it having a lot of flaws in the map department. So let's give it some time and let's bring in 2023 zombies on a high note. Until there's evidence to say otherwise, let's just try to be optimistic. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. I truly, truly hope you have a Merry Christmas. Go spend time with your families. We're going to be doing a Christmas Eve stream tonight at around 10 30 11 o'clock depending on when i get home from my family gathering it's going to be a blast we're going to play all the different zombies games for a couple hours for those who can't sleep for those who don't have a lot going on for christmas because of family stuff i just want to have a place for you to come and hang out for a little bit tonight because i know it's a hard time around the holidays so anyways keep your chin up kids and please if you do like this type of content hit the subscribe button hit the like button it really does help me out with the youtube algorithm and i will see you guys all in the next video peace out everybody